Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com, and this is my weekly look at the S&P E-mini futures. So let's see how the S&P is doing. So I'm going to start with the weekly chart here. Uh, one of the things I look at here on the weekly chart is look for a, a, a bullish channel here for ES. And it's not just the upper bounds of the channel which are important, and we get a good touch here and a recent high just here. But also the center line is really, really important here. We can see so much congestion, support and resistance along this center line uh, all the way up there. So this is a really strong, accurate channel here. So on the weekly, we can see from these lows, uh, 2016, we've had a wave one, a wave two. The wave three has hit the upper bound of the channel. And now we've pulled back to test the center line of the channel, potentially on a wave four. Now, it's not set in stone that this is going to go on and make a new wave five high at the moment. There's still a lot of work uh, for the S&P to do to do that. There, there could be, in fact, a further move down into our automated target zones uh, here for the for the wave four pullback um, all the way down to the lower bound of the weekly channel. So this could be a possibility. We're, we're at a critical point now, right at this center line of the weekly channel. Now, this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave 5 Trade. Uh, this is the Ninja Trader version, but it's also available on Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. So I'll be using this in our weekly uh, videos to look at uh, e mini futures, um, in particular SP, really. Uh, let's go to the daily, see where we are on the daily. Now, this is the same weekly channel here. We can see more closely on the daily channel where we are. And again, I've took a wave count from this low. We've got this rising range here, and I've got this, this, this added line here, which runs parallel to the center line. And this is really strong support and resistance and we can see for quite some time last year this was moving in a narrow range all the way up and then we've had more of a parabolic move out there to the upper bound of the weekly channel so this is the trend we're really interested in on the weekly channel right now that which um, we we get the, the the start back in uh, sort of august last year so the wave count is automatic on our Elliott wave indicator suite Let's just pull the 535 oscillator a little bit, a little bit higher. And we can see now the wave three hit the upper bound of the weekly channel. The wave four came back below our high, high probability zones and tested um, this, this longer term tr trend line here. I've also put in this support and resistance zone here because potentially we could see that come down and test there again. But at the moment, we seem to be consolidating at here. So a slightly higher support level than this wave four. Now, on the daily time frame for an ES trade, we, we would be looking for a long, but we've got to be really careful here that we've had these recent highs, this technical double top, if you like, that we must get through first before we really look for a long on ES. So we've got to get through this, this level here first. So technically, this is a higher support level than this wave four. So the bias is bullish, but we've got a lot of work to do to get through this 2800. But potentially, we could test this 3000 level if we get through 2800. So from a daily perspective, we are looking for this to move, get above the 6-4 moving average high here, but also then ultimately getting through and closing above 2,800. Then we'll be looking for a trade into our automated target zone here in blue to around about 3,000. So let's have a look on the, the intraday, on the 60-minute chart. See if there's any real trading opportunities right now for this coming week, 2nd of April. So. From this high uh, on the daily time frame and the weekly, we can see we've had this really slender move down and then the big gap down. So that's caused a, a wave three, but there's a gap there as well. So we've got to be very careful with this. This is the, um, the longer term trend line that we've put in here below the center line of the weekly channel, you can see here. So this wave three, we've pulled back against there into the automated 
probability zones there and found resistance in the amber zone and then we gapped down again Thursday we pretty much went range bound Thursday and then started to move higher and back above and around the center line of that weekly channel so opportunities here for for this coming week are quite varied really what we're looking for overall is the is bullish trades uh, in reality we are looking on the daily uh, for that bullish move but on the 60 minute time frame if we're going to go long we've got to break this this shorter term bearish move so we got to the wave four's got to fail if you like so we've got to go through this red zone here and let's just put a a, a line on there so we've got to go through like this sort of price here okay um, so around about the 2693 level we, we will see this shorter term bearish move over and there will be potential long here if this can happen next week it, I mean to be conservative maybe above 2700 would be pretty uh, pretty safe but then we'd be looking to test this big range bound period here around 2761 conversely though if we do break back down below this longer term trend line here we could be looking for a, a new low a new fifth wave low around about 2560 into our automated target zone here we can see at the moment the 535 oscillator has not broken the 90 to 140 percent rule on this current wave four pullback now if we find a slightly lower resistance level to this wave four and it does start to move back down this will still not have broken so we would be looking for a fifth wave move down to 2560 so there's a couple of options here for next week if we get the wave four failure get above this out of the red zone here 2693 again i took the i isolated the elliott wave came way back at this high here um, from March the 11th 12th that sort of time uh, and then we've got that wave four pullback against there so this is it for this coming week 2nd of April look for that failure of the wave four but conversely if this now is a lower high we would be looking for the short down into 2560 obviously you're going to trade this on shorter time frames but this is just my overview for the week starting the 2nd of april so have a great trading week and i'll speak to you next week